In this video, I will test the early bird swing trading strategy created by online trading signals and see if it makes money. I will backtest it 100 times with an initial account size set at $1,000 with 1 to 1.5 risk reward ratio. Okay, we're going to be testing our strategy on a crypto market daily chart. Now let's go ahead and add our indicators. So for the first indicator, we will search for OBV with EMA. This indicator by unknown unicorn. For the second indicator, we will search for higher high lower low strategy. And we will pick this one right here. And for the third indicator, we will use Trader XO. This one by BTC Charlie. Okay, now we need to adjust these indicators. So let's first access the settings on an IBV with EMA. And change the period from 100 to 200. Also, let's make these backgrounds a bit more visible. Now let's double click on this higher high lower lows indicator. And remove everything except higher high and lower lows. We will leave the inputs on a default. And lastly, let's change the settings on a Trader XO indicator. So in an input section, we're going to enable these two options. And in a style section, we're going to get rid of the bar colors. Okay, now the strategy is complete. Let's get into the trading rules. Okay, we're only going to be looking to sell if the OBV indicator is colored in red. This is an official confirmation that we are in a downtrend. Next condition will be to have these two lines of this Trader XO indicator colored in red. And we also need to have a new red column appeared on a chart. And once we have these conditions met, we're going to go ahead and draw a trend line from the lower low to the close of the current candlestick. Now we're going to be waiting for a bearish breakout. So the very next candlestick has to cross and close below this trend line. Okay, we see we've got a bearish breakout and now we're going to place a sell order slightly below the current candlestick. We're going to set our stop loss at one of these two lines. And we will be targeting 1.5 times the risk. Okay, so we see our sell order got executed on the very next candlestick. If let's say the price did not trigger our order, we would have cancelled this trade. Okay, so we see we close this trade with a nice profit. We can also enter a short trade if we have a red triangle appeared above the price. This happens when these lines change color. And we execute a short position in a similar way we did when we had a red column. So we will go ahead and draw a trend line. and wait for a bearish breakout on the very next candlestick. Okay, so we see we've got a breakout and now we're gonna go ahead and place a sell order slightly below this candlestick. We will set our stop loss at one of these lines and we will be targeting 1.5 times the risk. Okay, so we see we had our sell order executed on a very next candlestick and the price actually hit at a profit target as well. Exactly opposite is true for long trades. So we are only going to be looking to buy if the OBV indicator is colored in green. This is an official confirmation that the price is in the uptrend. Next condition will be to have these two lines colored in green and also a new green column appeared on a chart. And once we have this setup ready, we're going to go ahead and draw a trend line from the recent higher high to the close of the current candlestick. Now we're going to be waiting for a bullish breakout, so the price has to cross and close above this trend line. Okay, so we see the bullish breakout just happened, and now we're going to go ahead and place a buy order slightly above the current candlestick. And we will set a stop loss at one of these lines. We will set our take profit target at 1.5 times the risk. And now let's see if we have our order executed on a very next candlestick. 
Okay, so we see the price definitely triggered a buy order. If it didn't, we would have cancelled this trade. Okay, so we see the price easily hits our take profit target. We can also consider a buy signal when we have a green triangle appeared below the price and the rest of our indicators agree. So we will go ahead and draw a trend line from the recent high high to the close of the current candlestick. And now we're basically waiting for a bullish breakout. Okay, so we see the price definitely broke out and now we're going to go ahead and place a buy order. We will set a stop loss and a take profit target. And now let's see if our order gets executed on the very next candlestick. Okay, so we see the price definitely triggered our buy order and now we're in a trade. And we see this trade turned out to be successful as well. Okay, this strategy can be a bit complicated, but don't worry, I'm going to give you some more examples. Okay, so here we've got a valid long entry and the OBV indicator agrees. So we will go ahead and draw a trend line from the higher high to the close of the current candlestick. And now let's see if we have a bullish breakout. We definitely had a breakout and now let's go ahead and place a buy order. Okay, we see our order got executed and now let's see if this trade is successful. Okay, so we see we closed our first trade with a nice profit. This long entry is not valid because the lines are colored in red. Okay, we see we've got a new bullish signal. And it looks like we did get a breakout. Now let's go ahead and place a buy order. If these two lines are really close to the price, you can set your stop loss at the recent swing low. Okay, so we see we did not get our order executed on the very next candlestick, so we're going to cancel this trade. And a good thing we did because it could have resulted in a loss. Okay, so here we see we've got a valid short entry. We see we did get a bearish breakout. But our order did not get executed. Okay, here we can see we've got a valid long entry. But we didn't have a bullish breakout. Okay, this is where we have another long signal. We see we did get a breakout. And we did get our order executed. We see we closed our second trade with a nice profit as well. Here we've got another long signal. But we did not get a breakout. This short signal is not valid because the IBV indicator is colored in green. Okay, so here we see we've got a new bullish signal. And we did get a breakout on a very next candlestick. We see the price triggered our buy order. And we have another profitable trade. Okay, now you have a full understanding of how to trade with this strategy, so let's actually backtest it 100 times and see how well it performs in different market conditions. Okay, so I just finished my backtesting and not gonna lie, I am really surprised with this strategy. So our win rate is 75% and we increased our account size by 453.92%, which is absolutely bonkers. 
Because I was backtesting this strategy on a daily chart, I found there was 100 setups within 8 years. The profit factor for the strategy is 4.5 and we had 10 consecutive wins against 2 consecutive losses, which is really impressive. So even though this strategy issues fewer signals, those signals are extremely accurate. So if you want to be making a good passive income where you only have to spend 10 to 15 minutes a day analyzing the market, this strategy is absolutely perfect. But bear in mind this is only the backtesting, the results will be different when trading live because of high spreads and fees. Okay, so in terms of win rate, this strategy is sitting on a second place, which tells us it's good, reliable, and it's worth our time. So I would say you should definitely try it out on lower timeframes and see how it performs there. Okay, traders, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content like this in the future, then feel free to subscribe to Trade IQ.